When we think of female aviators, Amelia Earhart is usually the first to come to mind. She took her first flight in 1920 and declared, as soon as we left the ground, I knew I, myself, had to fly. She made her first solo flight in 1921 and set many records in her Lockheed Vega. She became the president of the 99s, a group of 99 female pilots who supported one another. And she continued to be an advocate for women in engineering and aeronautical fields throughout her lifetime. On her infamous final flight across the Pacific, she and her navigator disappeared en route to Holland Island. She remains a symbol to women everywhere that they can do anything they set their minds to. Ruth Law was a very successful and colorful early female aviator. At the beginning of her career, she became the first woman to fly at night and in 1916 set three records on a flight from Chicago to New York. In 1917, she earned as much as $9,000 a week for exhibition flights, which in 2019 is roughly $190,000. During World War I, she became the first woman to wear a military uniform, but was denied permission to fly in combat. Instead, she dropped leaflets promoting military bonds from her plane. Ruth's husband, who could no longer bear her hazardous career, simply put an end to it in 1922. Ruth learned of her retirement by reading about it in the newspaper. On June 15, 1921, Bessie Coleman received the first pilot's license issued to an African American, male or female, from the Federation Aeronautique Internationale. At the time, this was no easy feat given her race and gender. In 1921, she began doing air shows in Chicago and would only perform for non-segregated crowds. Ultimately, she wanted to open her own flying school for African Americans and came close to fulfilling this goal before her untimely death during a practice flight. Anne-Mara Lindbergh was an accomplished navigator and aviator. She was the first woman in the U.S. to earn a glider's license. And in 1930, she served as navigator while seven months pregnant, as she and her husband, famed aviator Charles Lindbergh, set a new transcontinental speed record. She was also a successful author, writing North to the Orient, Listen the Wind, and Bring Me a Unicorn. Thanks to the dedication, bravery, and tenacity of these pilots, records were set, barriers were broken, and women everywhere have symbols to look up to.